Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be guiding you through the beginner roadmap for 2026. So those who haven't started their cloud journey, so it's just a, like a complete roadmap where you can start without any hesitation or without getting overwhelmed by looking at to the 200 plus services from the AWS. So basically I want to say that like, we don't have to learn everything. So you do not know everything. You just need to start. You can just jump start with the AWS free tier account and you can start looking into the services that I'm going to showcase you now. So as I mentioned, like when we look into the AWS, so mostly people look like how many services, which domains they are, and looking into those complex scenarios. So they feel like they might get billed or they might get uh, like break the things and all. So instead of thinking all those things, we can just start with a free tier account, set up a budget over there. So it won't get, you, you might not, it won't get built with some unwanted amount and all. So try to learn the basics first and then try to spin up some resources. As soon as you finish up with those resources, you can just completely remove those, terminate those resources. So basically you're not late, you're not behind. So AWS is very learnable and you can get the resources. You can get lots of content on YouTube, on Google, even in the community, there are lots of options are there. Even you can have in the skill builder, you can have some demo tutorials there. Even you can find lots of things on my channel. Even in this video description, I will be sharing with a few like jumpstart uh, demos. So you can start your cloud journey with the AWS. So basically, no one knows everything. Like even even I also don't know most many of the things that are there in AWS. So, but still, we can keep on exploring and keep on progressing slowly, slowly, and that can lead to a perfection. So, the thumb rule one, like do not learn everything. So there are, as I mentioned, there are two hundred plus services. We should just focus on small and take step by step. So the very first thing that you need to know is the AWS S3 storage. So for storing the files, backups, what kind of files can be stored and how it is being stored, what are the different properties, uh, then encryption, then we can have permissions, what is public and what is uh, like you can, how you can restrict the policies of a bucket. So these kind of things you can explore it like by simply creating a bucket, then you can, once you finish with a simple bucket, you can like go and explore what are the different kinds of buckets, what are the different kinds of permissions I can assign, and you can also start making your one some static website. You can host a static website with S3 bucket. So it is the most common scenario, S3 storage that is being used widely in many use cases. So you can start with the storage part first. Then you can move on to the compute, AWS EC2, so the virtual cloud server. So once you explore this, you can first explore with the, what are the different instance types, what is AMI, how it is being linked to an instance type, and what are the uh, storage, what is elastic block storage, and what are the security groups, what is key pair values, what are the best practices of having key pair values, and then what is user data that we need to give some instructions when you are running a EC2 instance. So these are the basic things that you can do with a EC2 instance. Later on, you can uh, explore the various stages that uh, what is terminate, what is uh, start, stop instance, why I'm being built, why I'm not being built. So you can also have a simple EC2 web server where you can just run an HTML page if you're having just, just a normal web, you can have a Apache and you can just run a single index page. So these are the small things that you can start up with the EC2 instance. So, and along with that, you can explore like what are security groups, what is inbound rules, what is unbound rules, what is a public IP, what is a private, what is even uh, you can have at uh, endpoints, how you can have the VPC endpoints, how we can access what is EC2 instance connect. So how we can access our EC2 instance from our machine, try to explore it. So all the things, small, small things, you can cover it up. So one topic that you're choosing, like try to 
finish it all its aspects. Like you can also check with the logs and you can look into the various metrics of this EC2 instance in order to know the performance and all. So you can cover all these aspects in this EC2 instance from the compute perspective. Once you finish up with this EC2 instance, then you can go ahead with the IAM security. So basically you can create some users, you can assign some permissions, you can have some roles being defined. So in order to control the access, normally when you uh, sign up with the free tier, you normally have a root account, try to avoid the root account, create different users, try to log in with different users, check the access permissions, which services you are having the full control, which services you are not able to get the access. So you can assign the permission, you can check with the built-in permissions, you can create your own custom role and you can assign some permissions to specific services. So this is how you can explore. So as I told you, never use a root. So always try to have like uh, some other accounts being created, admin accounts. You can give some privileges that it can use all the services and then you can have a certain users. They have only access to the S3 or EC2. So like that, you can log in and you can explore how this IAM works. So the next thing is you can have a VPC, virtual private cloud. So you can have the networking basics uh, routing table, how this routing things works, what is a public and private subnet, what is NAT gateway, Bastion, and all those terms, try to learn it, uh, what is subnet and uh, internet gateway. So all those things you need to cover up with the VPC. So try to learn the basics. Like normally if you are from a uh, networking background, you need to know subnet, CIDR, routing, and all those things, you need to know it. So in the VPC, but don't get into more details, just the basics in order to get awareness about what are the key concepts in the VPC. So the most important, what is a public and private subnet, what are the things that you need to keep it in the public and private subnet, those things you can explore. Okay, next one. The most interesting one, that is a Lambda serverless. So we need not to manage any compute or something. So no servers at all. It is auto scaling and we pay per execution. Try to have some small Lambda function performing certain operations. You can trigger those Lambda functions with some activities in the S3 bucket. Like suppose you're uploading a file, trigger your Lambda function, try to do some uh, like conversion or try to get some uh, notifications through the email, SES, or these kind of small, small uh, like concepts you can develop with this Lambda. And uh, you can have something, some projects linked up with like EC2, S3. Once you're aware with how it works, you can easily start integrating with the other services, evoking basically the other services. So you can work on this Lambda. I have some examples with the lambda you can i will put all the like uh, in the beginner way like how to proceed so i will put in the description of this video so you can go through it one by one so again again i'm repeating like you need to have a basic knowledge then you try to do those demos and once you're finished with the demos try to terminate those resources so this is what in the beginner stack like s3 ec2 im vpc and the lambda that you need to know then how to learn. So watch the, my videos, go through the official documentation because sometimes what happens, my videos might be outdated, but I try my best to uh, upload some latest content related to certain uh, services that are being provided by the AWS. Try to go through yourself, what's new in AWS, as well as through the community, as well as for the official document. So you, sometimes the interface get changed or some minor changes are there. So try to like, you know, relate those things if any changes are there. Oh, and there are various community blogs, even there are multiple YouTube videos are there, but try to go through some good channels and all and try to learn through them and try to do those things, those steps. So try to build something and if not, it will break trying to Find out the facts on the Google or internet, anywhere you want. You can comment me, you can reach out to me. So I will try to help you out. So once you have learned the basics and all, as I mentioned, you 
uh, try to have a small goal. Like once you're learning each service, try to have a small project. Like when you're working with S3, okay, fine. You have some static website. You can have some uh, Lambda triggering, doing some conversions of the images or performing some calculations or something. Then try to monitor those logs in the CloudWatch logs. And you can run an EC2 web server. You can have a public subnet and you you can have your ec2 server or the private subnet so you can have a db instance also but again for once you're finished with this it's a never-ending process so step by step once you finish with this you can let me know i can put next steps what we can have it in some uh, like next flow basically so again, certifications. So many people say certifications are important. Some say these are not important. These can be optional or something. But I will suggest like if when you're learning the whole course, like when you're going through the AWS, like say practitioner or the AWS cloud solution architect or something, associate and all, try to give this certifications. It will give you a uh, confidence and it will try to relate the scenarios the questions that comes in the exam it will help you to think accordingly like okay how the things work what are the best practices how the how your approach will be in different scenarios so i will suggest to go with the certifications it it will give you a plus point in your cvs and all along with it will give you overall idea like how the whole architecture is how the things work so mindset, again, when you start, there will be lots of confusions roaming around you. There will be lots of struggles. And definitely the progress will take time. So keep on trying, keep on performing the demos that I have shared. And do let me know if you face any issues. I will try to help you out. So again, so 2026, just need you to start. Start small, stay consistent, and build some real things. Do some a practical hands-on, it will give you more confidence and it will help you to explore more services. I hope you like this roadmap. Please do give it a try. Those are beginners, those who are still thinking to start their cloud journey. So do let me know in the comments section if you require something, some other, if you face any challenges or if you face any troubles running those services. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.